This time tomorrow, it'll be children in need. And since it started in 1980, hundreds of millions of pounds have been raised with every penny of it going to young people who need your help most. Well, my colleague Riz Latif has been looking at one of the many ways your money has been spent. We know Children in Need funds many projects across the capital that support young people. But some children can't talk openly about their experiences because of difficult circumstances. I'm off to meet one young woman who's decided to share her story with us and we're going to protect her identity. There are always times, um, points in my life where I've just literally just felt like I wanted to give up. But then I've looked at less fortunate people than me and I thought, well, <laughs> honestly, I've got to do something. When she was 15, she found herself homeless and looking for accommodation alone in London. So, so what goes through the mind of a 15-year-old who effectively becomes homeless? Being homeless at a young age, it can lead you to a lot of options, a lot of options, and it doesn't mean they're good options, you know what I mean? You could get approached, ask you to make money, it would be the wrong way. Um, so, I mean, for young people, being homeless and out on the roads and not having no straight pass, is, yeah, it's not really good, it's really not good. Although social services recognised that she was at risk, she says it was difficult to work out the system on her own. The social workers, the social services, they weren't really as helpful as I thought they would have been, me being a young person by myself. The help that I needed, that I felt I needed, it was not there, it was not there at all. I didn't feel like I have a permanent home, and was really just going from pillar to post. And over the next couple of years, more uncertainty. The social services actually said to me that we can't help you no more. They wanted me to become more independent. So, yeah, that was more of a turning point because I was like, oh gosh, what am I going to do here? Then she heard about Just for Kids Law, which gives help and legal advice to young people in difficulty. Often the children and young people that we work with might have family breakdown, might not be at school, so they sometimes don't have adults in their lives who are able to support them through difficult times. So we often fill in that role for these young people. It felt like I had a professional that knew what they were doing, that were helping me to know what I was doing, if that made sense. I think it's far more widespread than, than people would imagine, actually. We, we are getting referrals from every London borough, um, and they are increasing by the week. She's now 18, and has recently had a baby. Big hugs. Here you are, a mum. When you look into your daughter's little face, <laughs> what are your hopes for both of you for the future? Just looking at her face, it literally makes me happier. To be honest, I want to give my daughter everything kind of I have. Yeah, she is just a bundle of joy, honestly, she is. And there's still time to fundraise for children in need if you want to get involved.